Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It is Monday. Time to crank off another week today. And probably most of the week this week, we're talking about the customer and whether they should be first. I posted a question about this on uh, Instagram, LinkedIn yesterday. Is the customer, this idea that the customer is always right. Is that right? Is that something we should do? I don't know. Stick around. Let's talk about it. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. You know, I almost did a terrible thing this morning. I came very close to clicking on go live without my cup of coffee. So if you don't have your cup of coffee, go ahead and grab it. Especially if you're watching the replay, you can just hit pause. Uh, we'll still be here. Speaking of the replay, if you're watching live or on the replay, either way, go ahead and do as Catherine has done. Leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning. How you doing? All of those are acceptable. Even if you have a question or a thought on our topic du jour or topic of the week. Oh, I like that. Let's have fun, make friends, and find ways to be relentlessly helpful. That might play into what we're talking about today. Hey, and as we talk today, one thing for you to think about. Somebody is going to come to your mind that you know that needs to hear what we're talking about today. When they do, go ahead and click on that share button right underneath the video or the audio that you're watching or listening to. Yeah. And uh, share it with them. They'll appreciate it. And I will too. All right. So the question of the day was, is the customer always right? Right. Is that the right attitude to have? And so I want to... um kind of pick through this idea a little bit this week, how we can implement it, as you might figure out from the title bug down in the lower third. Yeah, I think the customer's always right. Here's why. If the customer, first of all, let's define customer. Customer is somebody who's giving you money, right? If, they're, if they haven't bought anything yet, then they're just a browser or a shopper. They're not a customer. So the customer is the one that, um, hey, Joe, the customer is the one that validates your offer, right? They're validating it by purchasing. So if the customer is not always right, then how do you have any validation of your idea? Further, our job is to solve problems for other people at a profit. How are we doing that if we're not listening to what the customer needs and solving their problem? Now, later on in the week, we're going to get to this idea. What if you have something that they don't know about? But today, I just want to focus on this idea that it is the customer who, who creates your business, who makes your business viable. You, I mean, I, it's, as I've said many times, if you don't have customers and you just have a really expensive hobby, which I mean, is fine. If that's what you want, then have an expensive hobby. Who am I to judge? But if you want a business, then you have to be focused on the customer and what their problems are and how you can solve their problems. There's a really great quote here from Richard Branson that I shared out on Instagram this morning to succeed in business you need to be original. Agreed. But you also need to understand what the customer wants. And want is an important word here as well. We'll talk about this some more as we go through the week as well. But what they need, not necessarily what they want. You've heard me say this before. I need to lose weight, but I want that chocolate donut. The want's going to win most of the time. So when you create, when you have an idea and you create it and you say, everybody needs this, okay, maybe, but do they want it? And they're going to tell you whether they want it or not with their checkbook. That's the bottom line, right? 
So as we go through this discussion about customers this week and this customer first, this customer centric view of the world, I want you to start thinking about, but how do you know? Right. That's the question um, I've asked people on my team for years. Okay, great. But how do you know if the market needs this and customers are demanding this? Okay. But how do you know? How have you measured that? How have you gauged that? What's the feedback that you've gotten from your customer that tells you that is true? And if you don't have that, then you don't know. There's a, um, there are, mm, I go back and forth. I go back and forth with whether I like recommending four hour work week or not. Right now I'm recommending it. I like it again, but there's a chapter in there where he talks about, it might even be two chapters where he talks about, um, this aspiring entrepreneur who wanted to sell shirts. And so you set up a website and put everything about the shirt on the website, even a buy now button. When you clicked on the buy now button and said, Oh, we're sold out. Put your email address in here to go on the waiting list. It's a fantastic way to test your idea. People have expressed an affirmative action to buy. And then if they go beyond that and give you their email address, You know how many people, so you can order that many shirts. You know what sizes they want. I mean, you've got a pretty good test there. But if you're just guessing, or even worse, this is even worse. You assume that people are like you because you are unique. And people are not like you. People might be similar to you, but they're not like you. They won't like the same things in the same combinations that you like. So just be aware of that and don't assume it does bad things. All right. So is the customer always right? Yes. The customer is always right. The rest of the week, we're going to talk about when they're not and what you should do about it. You need to stay tuned. And if you know someone who owns a business, I even thinking about starting a business, this is going to be a great series for them to listen to this week. Be sure and share with them. Go ahead and click over. And today I'm going to ask you to do something different. I typically ask you to share with one person in your network. I'm going to go ahead and ask you just to share this to your whole network. Why? Because everybody in your network knows somebody that this applies to. Everybody doesn't need it, but everybody knows somebody that it applies to. And we need people to hear this message this week. If more people ran their business or just worked, if they're an employee, worked in their business this way. Most of us would be a lot happier. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a fantastic Monday. Uh, remember, if you got any value from our conversation, our discussion today, be sure and hit the like, uh, like stars, hearts, thumbs up, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. I'll be back tomorrow. You guys have a great Monday. I'll talk to you then.